This is gonna be our back rack chaos walk. This is similar to the front rock front rack chaos walk, but it's a little bit easier. Well, it's a lot a bit easier to stabilize. So you're still gonna to have to stabilize against these oscillating hanging kettlebells, but it's gonna be a little bit easier since it's on the back and not in your front rack or your front squat position. I'm using two sets of dumbbells here because I find that they are more destabilizing than just using a heavier kettlebell. But we want to have these weights hanging with an appropriate band that allows them to hang around and oscillate to destabilize you. So if you have too heavy of a band and they don't hang and bounce around, then you're not going to get the input we're looking for. The more these bounce with every step, the more you have to recruit extra support muscles to stop rotation and to stop lateral flexion and you're really resisting all of these movements. Some movements we create movement, like a deadlift, we create the bar going upwards, we apply that power. And some movements we resist movement. So while we're walking, we're really trying to resist any unnecessary rotation, flexion, bending, deformation. So that's what this is really training us to do is to use our support muscles to keep us nice and stable. This will apply really well to sprinting where you're applying a lot of force and you're trying to stabilize yourself on top of the bike. Yeah.